It's round 11 in the WNBL and the grandstand cameras are at the Denny Nong Basketball Stadium for the clash between the Rangers and the Sydney Uni Flames and Rachel Spawn. It was a frenetic opening to the game and really it was uh, the defensive pressure from Sydney which was one of the highlights. Well it certainly was and uh, it, it's a shame because the end scoreline doesn't really uh, show how close the game was and entertaining. So it's really the, the, probably the last five minutes of the match that uh, it blew out. Yeah it certainly did but Obviously, Lalani Mitchell is someone we're going to talk about extensively throughout these highlights. Uh, 27 points for the match and really got it done, not only scoring, but also nine assists, four rebounds. It was a complete performance. Oh, it really was. You can just see how much confidence her teammates have in Lalani when she actually has the ball in her hands. And uh, her relationship with, uh, with Pedersen is just extraordinary. As I said, there are nine assists. I'm sure they were all to Pedersen and uh, they just have the chemistry working and and uh, we see that you know, Sydney did really stay in touch. They, they tried so many different things. So here we see Lalani Mitchell. She, half of her points would have been inside the, inside the paint. Well, it was really uh, the, the Rangers that had to peg back the Flames. Flames got off to a, a really good start. And then they started to make a run. The, the Rangers were able to peg them back. But really credit in that first half to the Flames because they were able to stick tough and stick to their game plan. And they came up with the reward. It, exactly. It was just, I think, a breakdown in, in Sydney defence that gave Danny Nong too many easy baskets. They probably, in the end, didn't make them work hard enough for all of their shots, which kept their shooting percentage up a bit higher. And they probably weren't as disruptive for 40 minutes as they needed to be. Lysandra Barrett, the new import for the Sydney Indy Flames, arrived on Tuesday, made an instant impact. She had a great game. Oh, well, she had 18 points and nine rebounds and uh, no jet lag for her. Uh, just fantastic. She wouldn't have really known the offences. It's too hard to learn it in two trainings. Uh, but she just played on instinct and hard work. And I think Karen Dalton will be absolutely wrapped with who they've recruited. Also a word for Alicia Poto too, really lighting it up from outside in the third quarter. She certainly did and, and that's what's <laughs> we see a turnover by Alicia <laughs> but she's a great leader and uh, often that is the case that she can hit those threes when the team needs it most. Yeah absolutely but in the end it was the Rangers too strong and really the defensive pressure lapsed from the Sydney Uni Flames in that final quarter and Danny Nong were able to run away with it. Well they were and great momentum for Danny Nong keeps them sitting nicely second on the ladder and uh, they show why that you know, they were the, win the premiership contenders, or I think they are again this season. Yeah, they certainly are. They made a statement in this game. The Rangers 100, Sydney Uni 85 here on Grandstand.